Hooks and latches now driving open for the final time to release Atlantis from the International Space Station two minutes until undocking. Flying almost 250 miles over the Pacific Ocean, a space shuttle and a space station are less than a minute from separating. Houston. Houston Undocking confirmed at 1.28 a.m. Central Time. Atlantis weighs anchor from the International Space Station for the last time. Twelve and a half years of shuttle missions to build and service a million pound complex at an end. Rendezvous officer reports a good opening rate for Atlantis. This is sequential still video. Atlantis, station is in attitude control. Atlantis copies, thanks. Through the uh, centerline camera in the orbiter docking system, you're looking at sequential still video of the uh, docking port, pressurized mating adapter number two that Atlantis is backing away from.
Atlanta is now 30 feet away from the docking interface with the International Space Station. Everything looking good. It will take about uh, 30 minutes or so for Atlantis to reach uh, its station keeping point, 600 feet directly in front. Atlantis departing the International Space Station for the last time. Thank you for your 12 dock missions to the ISS and for capping off 37 space shuttle missions to construct this incredible orbiting research facility. We'll miss you guys. Godspeed. Soft landing, and we'll see you back on Earth in the fall. Hey, thanks, uh, Ron, USOS lead, and uh, to the uh, station commander, Andre Borisenko. Uh, we appreciate your hospitality again. Hey, when a, uh, when a generation accomplishes a great thing, it's got a right to stand back and for just a moment admire and take pride in its work. From our unique vantage point right here, perched above the Earth, we can see the International Space Station is a wonderful accomplishment. It was born at the end of the Cold War, enabled many nations to speak one in space. As the ISS now enters the era of utilization, we'll never forget the role the space shuttle played in its creation. Like a proud parent, we anticipate great things to follow, from the men and women who build, operate, and live there. From this unique vantage point, we can see a great thing has been accomplished. Farewell, ISS. Make us proud. Tinged with the finality of the moment, uh, words from Ron Guerin, NASA flight engineer aboard the International Space Station and Atlantis Commander Chris Ferguson. As Atlantis uh, continues to move away from uh, the complex, currently at a distance of 71 feet, uh, moving ultimately to a point about 600 feet directly in front of the station for a period of 27 minutes of station keeping to enable the station to yaw 90 degrees prior to the start of a half-lap fly around by pilot Doug Hurley from Atlantis's aft flight deck. Atlantis on the big loop. Uh, we're going to keep the radar in comm mode uh, if you can pick anything up. 